So, uh, anyone else want to talk or ask about anything else, or should we pass the night? I'm still in that tub. You're still in that tub. After you've been allowed to soak a bit and wash your hair, she comes back with a now clean set of clothing. I uh, I actually wanted to see a little, little part part in that scene area. She comes back in. She sees my dog, a pony, and a snake in the, in the tub with me. That's a pretty crowded tub. <laughs> she frees as she enters. She looks a bit at all the animals. I was lonely. She's about to reach for a broom. What are you doing? Don't, don't panic now, Baron. I think there's a snake in the tub. Well, that's my snake. She grasps the, the broom like a, like a spear. I grab the snake and hug it. No! It's yours. Yeah. Did you have that when you came in? No. You mustn't surprise me like this, Baron. It was really quiet oh. and lonely in here. All right, well. If you can just put your snake friend over there for a moment. Oh, I look at him and go, it's time to go. Thanks for joining me. And it disappears. Oof. A little mage. I was wondering. Oh, I'm not a mage. I'm a demon. Right. That was very casual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a wizard. I'm a fucking soul devouring demon. If you say so. Yeah. Well, my little demon, how about we get you out of that tub? Okay. Thank you again for no. the tub. I made this... Uh, I have I have this uh, this outfit for you you can use while your own clothes dries up. Thank you. It looks almost like a monk robe. Or like like a something like between a monk's robe and a bath bathrobe. Long oh. hanging, big, big sleeves. Very soft. Hmm. A wearable towel. More or less. <laughs> oh, I gotta see if Grandma's okay. She instinctively sort of drags you back in place and grabs a brush, starts brushing your hair. Oh, uh, One oh. moment. She'll be right where you, where you, where you left her. You've got to brush your hair before it dries up, or, it's, or it'll be stuck like this. Oh. Mm. It feels nice. It does, doesn't it? I wonder if my bastard didn't like me doing this. She finishes, finishes and lets you go. Thank you again. I... I... I didn't know my mother. I... She... My... So I never, I never had her do this for me. I'm very sorry about that. Well, thank you again. She internally decides that you are now hers to protect. <laughs> can I, right. can I call a scene? Go. So I'm laying on, I'm laying on bed. I wake up, I see carpets, I see things dripping from the ceiling, I'm like, ah, 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 where am I? Ah! Stop panicking, running around the room. <laughs> it is at that time the still slightly wet, but, you know, fairly nice looking Baron rushes into the room. Ah, horns! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Just collapse on the floor. What's going on, Grandma? Where am I? What am I doing? 
I was drinking. I was drinking from a wonderful tankard, and now I'm here. What happened? What happened? You were silly, and then you threw up on me. <laughs> it's not funny. Sorry. Worst <laughs> crap I ever. Sorry, but, but did I really throw up on you, Barney? That's why I'm. I took a bath. <laughs> <laughs> she now enters the room and in all her stoic pride and gives you a terrible stink eye. Uh, hi. Sleep well? Um, did I sleep? You did. Who, who moved to bed? You were put in bed by your friends and your grandchild. Oh. You were hammered beyond belief. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will give you a moment to compose yourself. Everyone else is heading off to bed. I suggest you do the same. Yeah. She leaves Thanks. you. Thanks. I am sorry, Barney. I'm clean now. That's good. I, I, I'm sorry. War! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I, was, I was deep in, in, in nerdum nerdum, so I didn't realize what time it was. Well, were you on World of Warcraft? No. I was watching something on, on Netflix. Um, I was on World of Warcraft, that's why I almost forgot we were playing. <laughs> I made it. I'm sorry, Barney. I'm just... That beer was so nice. It was such nice beer. And... Do you want I... another cake? Pulls out cake. <laughs> and Don't if you dare. Any... If I didn't have that free one on the house, I think I wouldn't be as, as silly as I was. I, I apologize, Barney. You gotta take care of yourself. You always told me to do that. Yeah. I've really let you down, haven't I? I'm sorry, Barney. I'm okay. I'm just wondering if you're okay. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. All right. <laughs> um, is that a scene? Yar. Yar. So, uh, let's get the. John caught up to speed. Yeah, thanks. I'm sorry. It's cool. It happens. Um, you all went to Tuskark to uh, deliver the letters and mm -hmm. find any sort of help you could get to get rid of the wargs. Um, there, Bastian led you to his mother, who owns a very classy establishment known as the House Without a Name, hidden away in the alleyways of the Rich Guy District. It is covered with satins, and the air inside is filled with all sorts of mm -hmm. smells and incenses. You've had a chance to interact with, with her a bit. She's introduced herself as Shilara. She is a, a very tall and very beautiful elven woman. Nice. Nice. Uh, um, she recommended a place called the Golden Grain to look for mercenaries, and you went there, where you met... Um, Mess is new, new character. Oh, nice. So the two of you have probably had a chance to see each other as well. Mm -hmm. You hired him for very little gold because he was just looking to get rid of a mess of bar tab. Oh, damn. Which I mean, he just went, done. Yeah. But you are, of course, far from done. Then uh, Rosemary went on a bit of a bender. Completely <laughs> knocked out. Wow. And they dragged her back home to the to the house without a name, put her on a bed, and... I threw up on Barney. Yes, she threw up on Barney. So she oh, Shilara got the... Uh, yeah. Shilara got the Baron all cleaned up, and the party put Haley in a bed. Oh, Rosemary in a bed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think the next thing is... If... 
Varian and Guar would just describe themselves in turn, because I don't think either player has seen either character yet. You might be right. Yeah, I wasn't there last time, so... You were not, that's true. Well... Yes. I'll you start. Yeah, yeah I can do that. I can do it. Just need to swallow a bit here. Uh, what you see is a big half-orc. He's almost two meters high and really, really broad. And, and uh, but and he's, he's he's even though he's high and muscular, he's still really, really slender. His slender build. Um, he has black hair, black eyes. And he's like uh, he's he's once you see him, he's he's, he's kind of old. He, he seems weird. He's wearing some sort of hide armor that's mashed together from pieces he's gathered during time, and he has set, around his waist is a a chain, a big chain. Bikes. Um, he he seems a bit weird. He's he's as you said, cold and 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 he doesn't seem to be part of the group as much as the others are. Right. Oh, yes. sorry, I mean to do that. Yeah, and uh, what you see uh, this with Varian is a, a human male. He looks to be about 40 years old, a little up in the ages. Yeah. He, uh, he is pretty muscular. Uh, he has like a bushy black hair. Doesn't look like he's ever seen a comb. But they got a bit of a 5 o'clock shadow going on. <laughs> he has white t-shirts and some pants, and that's pretty much it. He doesn't seem to have any form of armor. And then like a, a weird slightly curved sword at his side. Nice. Oh yeah, he's also really, really scarred. There's a lot of scars on his face and on his arms. Right. Okay, uh, and I think that might be the last scene for the night. And we'll skip forward to the next day. Any objections? No, oh, good. except for Windesguar show up. I imagine he probably hung back in the relaxed atmosphere of the whole house without a yeah. while the rest of yes. you were out hiring a guy. I do believe. That makes, that's the simplest way of explaining it away. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Good. Wake up in the early morning. Interestingly enough, when the night comes, uh, Shilara goes, up, goes around opening all the windows and letting the air flow through the place, mm. clearing the air out. As she does that, the uh, spot just follows behind her, more or less, in uh, her tail. Mm -hmm. Well, she... Uh, she pets uh, Spot one final time before she goes off to bed herself. Mm -hmm. She's up early in the next morning, and she is closing down all the windows again. You all awaken one by one. Uh, who's first? I wonder. Well, not not Gerald. Certainly not Haley. Yeah, Gwar is up pretty early. Uh, yeah, not for yeah. anything else but to practice, basically. So, yeah, right? Varian probably also pretty early. Well, Bash is half so he's probably up uh, mm -hmm. pretty early also. Too. All right. Three of you wake up at, a, at about the same around the same time. Probably at about seven a.m. That's when farmer. the sun poking into the window in the window. I'm a farmer, so I normally wake up early, anyways. Yeah. She's prepared some light breakfast for you when you head downstairs. Mm. I nod at her and thank you. As soon as the smell hits my nose, I, st I open my eyes. <laughs> you are groggy, your head hurts like hell. You lose balance as, sure, as soon as you try to stand up and have to compose yourself. But you manage to make your way outside your room. I'm very grumbly. Find yourself in a foreign hallway. Follow the scent of eggs. 
and T. Yep. Uh, T. And you find the living room again with the rest of the party gathered around for breakfast. So uh, I'll, I'll just see her stumbling her way into the living room. I'm like, "Good morning, sunshine. How you been?" Half the head. You feeling okay? What did you guys do to her last night? I bought her a barrel of beer. Yeah, he he literally she drank bought, it. Yes, yeah. he literally bought her oh. a barrel of beer, and, and she drank it. And I had th one, two. I'm trying to count my fingers. Three tankards. Basically, okay. she got pissed drunk. Mm. Yar. I, just I mean, we had time for yeah. I just slump onto a cushion and look at the breakfast. Same. It's pretty nice. She's gotten, gotten meat from the uh, butcher. She's prepared it. She also has uh, eggs in a pile. Soft boiled. And a lot of vegetables. Greens. I eat a lot fruits. of vegetables. Oh god. Yeah. But I also meet me. Most of us. Yep. Okay, cool. Healthy half orc. I stop eating uh, like broccoli and egg and a bit of meat. I just and then I... I just raid the veggie pile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the table's very low to the ground. She sits on a on her knees on a pillow. And pretty and the, and the table pretty much demands that you do the same, or something similar. If you try to get on a stool or a chair, you'll be raised way above the table side. Nice. I just sit cross-legged on a on a on a cushion. Is there any alcohol in this establishment? Of course, we have wine. Though, I tend to prefer it later. Grandma? No. I just want some tea. Do we have ale? Or beer? Or something? No, we should go back. Not in here, no. Oh. Do we, do we have any fruit juice for the little kitties? And I... myself? I've already thought about it. I've set forth a couple of bowls down there. She points to the corner. Mine! What, are I you the kitty? Them. Yes. I thought you were making fun of me again. I am the child of this group. Have I not taught you any lessons from last night with how drunk I got? <laughs> Do you come for juice? No, no, I'm trying like, to no, one-up you. No alcohol, ever, no. <laughs> that was meant for Spot and the cat. Cheers. Cheers. She hands, um... Rosemary, a bit of camomile tea. It's called, camom it's called chamomile. Chamomile. Is that the English pronunciation? Yes, it is. All right. Thank you. Um, what can I get you? Uh, Varian, was it? Uh, I'm, I mean, just water if you don't have ale. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't. Or coffee? Do you have coffee? I have coffee, yes. I can get that. I will take that then. You don't have water? We do have water. I thought you said you did. <laughs> I, we don't have ale. Oh, My okay. clientele tends to prefer the wine. It's really older. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me get your coffee. Thanks. I'll take some juice or whatever, some fruit juice or whatever you have. Alright. She returns with all of it on a tray. Sits it down beside you and hands it to you one by one. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a plan for today then? Well, seeing as we have gotten the knee, I will assume we have needed. Well, I assume we're taking we're going back. Or should we go talk to the. Uh... Could go back to where exactly? Where Let's are we going? Stop them. Oh, work, Gerald. I'm just listening to everything, but it seems like I'm not exactly mm -hmm. with everybody, if you know what I mean. <laughs> just staring into my tea, chewing on a little bit of bacon. Mm -hmm. Back to Bellanox, of course. 
No, 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 we gotta get to the um, wolves and stop them. Wait, yeah, you, guys are, wait. you guys are from Bellinox? Well, they are, I'm not. I didn't even know Bellinox was a city. I just thought it was that saint guy. Eh, I Yes and no. I'm just turning oh. on a bit of bacon. And then Claude comes up next to me, looking at the bacon in my mouth. And I just shake my head. <laughs> Starts chewing the bacon, looking at the tea again. Grandma, do you not like tea? No, I'm drinking it ever so often, but I'm just <laughs> staring at the tea and looking at the tea. It's just like all the leaves floating. Chewing the bacon, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my own little world bubble at the minute. Just sitting there like... Ow. <laughs> Then I'm gonna look up. I'm look around the room, look at everybody. I'm munching on a carrot. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm munching on bacon, but I'm looking at everybody. I'm I know. Like, when you're looking I'm at everybody, sorry. I'm munching on a carrot. <laughs> you're munching on a carrot, okay. I'm looking at everybody, and I'm like, I'm sorry. Uh, for what? Last night. Well, I wasn't there, so you don't need to bolt just me. I'm just sorry for the mess I made. Well, the barkeep uh, fought pretty highly of you, so... <laughs> I think he was having a laugh. So... Wasn't all that bad. I have a little grin on my face. Can the fucking stream racers piss off? Say what, Haley? I just have a big grin, grin, and start drinking all my tea. Mm. Silent, like, silent. What am I going to do with you? Well, if I may come with a couple of suggestions, there are a couple of places of you may look before heading back home. You're welcome, I guess. Um, don't doubt your ability, uh, Varian. But if you need more men, you may try your luck with the general. Or the okay. Lord and Lady if you can get an audience, though that might be difficult. The town has also got a church, a library, a couple of smiths and arms dealers. Hmm. Knowing that you're walking into a dangerous situation, it might not be a waste of time to try a bit of everything. That's true. So, should we try and get to... to talk, try and get to talk with the general first, or should we try and get yeah, some knowledge that's like good, the... good idea. I mean, should we stay together, or should we split up? I mean, like, try different even... avenues. Well, as long as you don't go to a bar, it should be okay. What do you think? Do we all agree? Can try and cover more Or just time. not. If we go to place to place, like, all together, that's more time that the, the, the things are gonna attack me. Right? That is true. True. Might be a good deal to try and put up Yeah. Oh. Bless you. Pardon me. <laughs> so our first point of action would be try and talk to the general. I mean, yeah, yeah. that would be a good idea. Then it probably would be a good idea to try and get some more information about uh, walks. Uh, yeah, that would probably be the library then. Yeah. Fuck it, stab him. I was thinking I might take a trip to the church. Do that. Take the last sip of my tea. They might have some... 
some information or some way they could they could help us maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. What church is in this town? Actually. It would be the Church of Abadar. Ah, Abadar. He is a god of civilization. Buildings, stuff like that. Yeah, merchants and architects all worship him. Yeah. Frightfully boring doctrine, all things considered. <laughs> but I have to agree there. Even so, I can't say that his worshippers haven't done a lot of good for this place. That's true. A city like this, like architects would be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they, they built the wall, didn't they? So they did. Be your back. They branded the wall with both the seal of Avatar and the house sigil of the Hohenspachs. There was a bit of controversy about them putting their own mark on the city wall, but nobody complained when they offered to front most of the costs in building it. Bribery goes a long way by the sounds of it. <laughs> you are so right. Some more tea, please. Of course. Thank you. Is there any bread? Yes, there is. Ah, I'm gonna Straight. have a nibble on some bread. Straight from the baker's. Make sure you fall before you go off. Um. Uh, you don't got, got any of that elven bread uh, you usually have, do you? I always save some. Ooh, this is the best. <laughs> is it where it always is out? Is it where it usually is out, out, out the kitchen? Yep. Go ahead. I'll go out and take it. I'll go out and take a a loaf of the bread. Mm -hmm. Is it called elven bread because elves made it? That does seem to be the idea. It's then... called elven bread because it's made of elven flesh. You sicko. <laughs> I've never heard of any bread I've ever had called human bread. That's not bread. me. Oh no. <laughs> well, if you're in the elven homeland and you bring bread from the human cities, well, they will call it human bread. Probably, yeah. Because there, the elven bread is normal. Huh. Is there a I wonder what orc bread would taste like. Do they have bread? Probably some Beachy. version of beef. What does halfing bread taste like? Another Probably one. some version of beer. <gasps> Probably has ale in it. <laughs> then am I, I been getting drunk since a young age? She can't have it. No. You can't have bread as a child. Bread is not allowed. <laughs> Alright. I'll get the dishes. Alright. You can all get back to work. Thank you. You come by and visit me one more time before you, you head, head home, alright? Well, most of the stuff is here, so yes. Alright. You will. You are. You've been very hospitable and nice, ma'am. Many thanks. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You are a far cry from the visitors I'm used to, and I do enjoy this sort of company a lot. 